The first first Fridays in the crossroads wrapped up in the last hour. There are only 12 a year, but it can be a big game changer for local businesses. Indeed, but as KSHB 41 News reporter Megan Abundance explains, some are worried not as many people will come this year due to security concerns. Businesses in the East Crossroads say they're fighting issues that go along with homelessness, and they say a large camp is the root of it. They say you can see it from Highway 71, and it stretches for four blocks. From a Kansas City skyline to the bottom of the highway. Highway 71, as you cross over the overpass, it's all you can see down there. People, tents, and a lot of garbage line a fence line from 16th and Troost to 19th and Troost. On the other side of the fence, businesses in the East Crossroads. It went from being hardly noticeable to you just cannot miss it. TJ Templeton directs the Bunker Center for the Arts. It's terrible for my business because I'm having a reception tonight. People are going to be parking on the street and they know that they're going to be parking next to a homeless camp. Templeton locks the door during business hours and has cameras because he's seen the issues firsthand. Cars get broken into all the time. Other East Crossroad businesses claim people are threatening customers, starting fires in corners, leaving needles behind and defecating in the street. It's a small village. You, you have clotheslines, you have somebody in a chair getting giving haircuts to other people. I mean, it's, it's, it's a real serious problem. Which is why they've reached out for help. The Department of Transportation says it's the city's problem. The city says it's the Department of Transportation's problem. MoDOT says that is the truth. And while it's frustrating, they say it can't be one or the other. They also claim it's a law enforcement issue, saying they'll clean them up if they're unoccupied. However, they've done that before and they've seen them pop right back up. All entities looking for a long-term solution. In the Crossroads, Megan Abundas, KSHB 41 News.